Okay, so <clears throat> this is the last part. I thought we were done, but there's one little part, one little um, vocab word or idea. Um, we've just finished talking about coterminal angles, and we use this notation, alpha, for our angle. This is the idea of what in the heck is a reference angle. And so if alpha is a non-quadrantal angle in standard position, its reference angle is defined as the acute angle formed by the terminal side of the given angle and the x-axis. What? What does that mean? It means the following. New page. So here I am in, again in the Cartesian coordinate system, your x and y axis, axes. And I have this green angle, which is, let's say, 48 degrees. And of course, that would be a positive 48 degrees, because it's an angle in the standard position. Remember what that means. Uh, the initial side is on the x-axis, and the terminal side is somewhere not. And I'm measuring its positive angle because the initial to the terminal side is in a counterclockwise direction. Okay? Now, this angle, this 48 degree angle, has a reference angle of 48 degrees because that's the measure of the angle to or from the x axis. Now, in comparison or contrast to that, if I have this red angle, and it is, let's put a number there, I don't know, 162 degrees. So that's a 162 degree angle. It's a positive 162 degree angle. But it has a reference angle that's measured here. And so what would its reference angle be? Hopefully, we're thinking that it's 18 degrees. How did I get that? Well, if it's 180 degrees from this, from here to here, then 160, 180 minus 162 is 18 degrees. It's not really to scale. If I had another angle here, and let's say that that's 42 degrees. It's negative 42 degrees because it's in the clockwise direction from the initial side to the terminal side. That actually have, has a reference angle of 42 degrees. Because as measured from the x-axis, it has a reference angle of 42 degrees. Okay, so that's the idea of reference angle. Uh, we'll see you in class.